What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be bringing you some more Pirate Rumble action and in today's video we're focusing more on Kozuki Odin. Now I did make a video at the start of the month when Whitebeard and Roger came out and we're building a slasher team for them because obviously they are a slasher based unit and at that time we didn't have 6 plus Odin but now that we do have him and now that I have some free time to actually make some videos with some of these characters that we've pulled, we finally get to go ahead and have a look at him. So with Kozuki Suzuki Odin, this is the team that we're running today. Now, this is not a typical slasher team that you would normally see. In a lot of cases, what people would usually do is instead of running the Trafalgar Law on the main line, they'd probably run a character like Legend Cracker, and that is a perfectly good option, but I found that through using that, that you just have like no defenses and you have like no backup plan if some of your mainline characters go down because with five legends on the mainline your cost is very very restricted so by having a lot more pvp rare recruits it means that our bench is going to be actually kind of safer meaning that when one of our mainline units goes down we can replace it with a unit that can kind of hold their own so that's the theory for this team but before we get into the video i want to go ahead and talk about kozuki odin and have a look at what he actually does in pirate rumble so his passive ability gives your slasher characters level 5 CT increase and level 5 attack up to your slashes, like actually amazing, and then an added effect of your strength teammates getting level 5 health and level 5 speed. So Odin himself on a slasher team is going to be a beast, and the fact that we have Trafalgar Law on our main line also gets all of these buffs active as well, so really really good synergy there. His special is absolutely incredible, large range 2500 fixed damage, then targets enemies in a large horizontal range for a 2.5 times his attack and gives your slasher characters a level 8 attack up for 20 seconds. If we're able to get that special to launch, it's just an absolutely dominating special that is. It's it's so powerful, especially when you have Wipin and Roger right next to him. So I'm really excited to jump into some PvP content with this guy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and find some opponents. So our first opponent is going to be a defensive driven based team. You see the Doflamingo, Mori is going to be very annoying to deal with, Fire Tank, Fuji, just all these characters are focused to be as defensive as possible. However, I think that the fact that we have Odin, which can do really good fixed damage and good damage by himself, but also the fact that we have Wipin and Roger, who are one of the best PvP units in the game. I don't know what they were thinking when they were designing that unit, dude. The fact that he can give a guaranteed 30% health cut against all enemies, and then target two enemies and then deal two times their attackers damage to them through defense like like what even is that special but Kizaru of course is going to be a huge addition to the team he always is able to launch his special very very quickly and with all of these CT increases to our characters level 9 across the board there all of our specials are ready to go unfortunately we do get hit with that Moria special and Odin unfortunately did get his stats halved which is, is a little bit of a bummer and if it wasn't for that we probably would have killed there luckily Dofi comes in with a good piece of damage they're all already getting a KO and here we go and see Kozuki Odin here we go oh even with half stats dude if we didn't have half stats we probably would have killed the entire enemy team there that's absolutely absurd now of course you know fire tank pirates are going to be relatively annoying to take on but that's not going to be an issue here because we're able to launch all of our specials very very easily here so Kizaru going to get a little bit more damage off actually KOs two of the enemies there and of course fire tank pirates are going to be the last characters available all right so we can just take our time here let's make sure we get a special up and uh he's he's gonna he's gonna die <laughs> he's definitely dying there's no way he's surviving and here we go Dofi is going to get the kill. So, very comfortable win. Uh, probably not the best defensive team out there, but then again, if you're able to get Roger and Whitebeard and Odin to both launch right next to each other, it's just a wrap for the opponent. So I saw this team and I thought that this would be an interesting one to kind of showcase against because I, I feel like the slasher team should actually be okay against the Dex team. So I think we'll have to have, we'll have, to have a look. Now, look, we could get completely destroyed and look that's that's definitely a possibility but I, i'm very very intrigued to see how we go here because we're going to have roger wipe once again to do the health cuts the damage through defense which is very very good uh damage through defense is one of the best things you can bring against the dex team considering how tanky they usually are so i just want to see their stats actually yeah so the 14 defense 10 health zora on the main line is an interesting choice i don't really know why law is on the bench though law does get a better passive after 70 seconds has expired Dofi going to do some damage here, but very, very tanky. So, uh, Ca Cavendish? Yeah, Cavendish just missed out on using his special. Odin, here we go, boy. Bro, good damage. Who do we kill there? Oh, we got rid of Cavendish, and we got rid of Borsalino as well. 
Yo, that is actually incredible. Look at that attack power right now. Level 30 attack to our White Bit and Roger because of the fact that, uh, oh, okay, now it's down to 23. But every time Odin uses his, his special, he does give a level 8 boost to attack to our slashes. So that's going to be huge. Um, so let's see, where are they? They should be launching their special relatively soon. They must have got knocked back a little bit ago because they really should have launched their special by now. Uh, at least we will pretty much get two guaranteed KOs here with Roger and Newgate. Nice, okay, we got rid of the two huge damage dealers. Zora will start to do a little bit more damage now, but it's pretty much a wrap. There's not much he can really do at this point. Okay, a bit of damage there from Law. Zora is down, and so is Law. So, again, a pretty convincing win, and that was only 50 seconds to take down a Dex team, which is typically extremely tanky. Pretty impressive stuff, honestly. Not too bad at all. So this is going to be the final enemy of the video, and this is going to be a quick team, defense team, uh, you know, obviously the, the main guys of Akainu, Kaido, Magellan. King is actually on the bench, and he could be annoying to deal with, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, so the thing about the quick team that makes him kind of interesting, at least in this matchup between Slashes and Quick, is that they typically can tank a lot of hits. They have a lot of HP, normally, and they can output some serious damage. I mean, the, the big ones obviously being Akainu, who does a health cut before he does his damage, and plus Akainu does additional damage towards strength characters so this may be very challenging because uh, Akainu is going to absolutely destroy Odin and Trafalgar Law however if we are able to kill him before that happens or we can survive it then we may be able to be okay. Kaido also is going to be a relatively difficult customer to deal with. Uh, luckily Kizaru is going to be able to launch again and Roger Whitebeard too! Yo, we got rid of Akainu before he did his damage. Oh, it's a wrap. It's, it's, it's actually over. Though Akainu, you have to respect Akainu. Though we do have Odin coming in in just a moment. Okay, so we didn't hit Kaido, but we actually got the double KO on Stussy and Whitebeard. Bit of damage coming off here from Shiryu. And King also is going to be launching soon. He will launch a special. He single targets. Who's he hitting? Roger Whitebeard, but he barely survives. That's crazy. Lord's going to be doing pretty good damage here too. And Kaido is barely alive, so he's going to come in here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Roger Whitebeard, we already knew they were going to get knocked out there considering King attacked him. However, Arlong coming in, giving a bit of a buff there to Odin and Trafalgar Law, which is great. And at this point, Kizaru's going to get the win. Very good. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, I wonder what, like, how that would have gone if Roger and Whitebeard did not kill Akainu, because if he was able to launch, man, that would have done so much damage towards um, Odin. Um, so we'll see. Anyways, but that was a really, really convincing win on all three of the battles that you guys saw in this video. Just, just absolutely dominated the opponent. So with all that being said, that is going to wrap up yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.